Xbox is a novel form of asynchronous audio communication for the elderly. So users can send and listen to messages through Wi-Fi. Wispbox helps the elderly by tackling the problem of boredom. Children and grandchildren no longer have to engage in real-time phone conversations to speak with their grandparents, and users can talk, record, and listen to conversations whenever they feel like it. Going into this project, we had a couple milestones we had to reach. The first one was uh, researching the hardware parts necessary to make this project happen. So our group met up in the library one day and we looked into parts such as the added group music player and the speaker and other parts like the servo that we may use. So after looking at these parts, we decided what we need and what we don't need to make VoiceBox happen. After deciding what we needed, we had to present this to the class. And during the presentation, we got a lot of great feedback, and that we knew since that moment that VoiceBox was going to be an accomplished product. So, after making our list of aspects of an elderly person's life that could be improved, we decided that loneliness was the thing that we wanted to attack for a project, and so when we start thinking about loneliness in our group, we thought about what do the younger generation of people have that uh, the older generation doesn't, and that is, it's the technology and cell phone use that the younger people use, that the elderly people don't have the technological skills to incorporate into their own lives. So we created VoiceBox in an attempt to bridge that gap between the two generations by making a device that could allow elderly people and their friends and their family to interact with them without any mess of trying to figure out how the cell phone works. Adafruit Music Maker Shield and the speaker, and we were pretty quickly able to get it to play music. Now we're just working on the microphone circuit. We're having some issues with the software, but we should be able to get that figured out quickly, and then the rest of the code for VoiceBox should come along pretty well.